All right, this video is for Paul Engler. He reached out to me from the Star Wars Room Builders group asking for a friend uh, who is building a Death Star room for her husband. And she wants to cover a door much like this. We all have these weird doors that don't slide open. I don't, I don't get that. Anyway, she wants to cover this and make it look more in-universe, specifically something that would be on the Death Star. So, I am going to use traditional tools to make this door look in-universe. Um, not going to use the CNC or the laser, even though, oh man, I want to so bad. But I want this to be something that everyone can follow along with. So we're going to use three tools. Circular saw, jigsaw, and a drill. And the drill is just so that we can get the saw in place to make our cuts. We're basically going to start with a hardboard that goes over this. And then we'll use MDF to make the cutouts and make it so it looks pretty cool. Um, first. Let's talk about design and how I came up with the design. It's a super simple design, but I think it'll work well, especially in my space and hopefully your space too. If not, you can come up with some ideas based on what we look at next. While you can go to different places like Pinterest or just do a simple Google search and go to the images tab, I like to come to ArtStation. A lot of talented artists here and I usually can find inspiration on this page. So let's do a search. In this case, I'm looking for a door that would fit the Death Star or something Star Wars like. So let's do a search for Star Wars interior and let's see what we come up with. So there's plenty here to look at, plenty. So looking for doors, this catches my eye almost instantly. I'm looking at this part here because this door is a little bit too wide for what we need, but this part here might just work. All right, let's uh, let's go back and see if there's something else. So let's see what do we have here. There's this gentleman, Jason Lewis, who is doing a remake of Dark Forces, and I like that door down there. So if we scroll down, there's a larger view of that door. Um, not too fond of that door. But that door right there. Let's get a close up of that. Yeah, I like this. Again, this door is too wide for us. So I'm thinking just this part right here would make for a good door. So let's keep that in mind as well. Once I'm done finding a design or several designs, then I open up Illustrator and start fleshing out ideas. So these are the four that I came up with. This is the one that, uh, that we just looked at, half. This is the first one that we looked at. This is one I just threw some shapes together. And this was kind of the full version of this design, the full door, except squished down so that it would fit the 30 by 80 space that we're going to work with. Um, after talking to my friends over at the Almost Star Wars podcast, and by the way, if you haven't listened and watched that, you should. The link is right above. Uh, after talking to those guys, we all decided this would be the design that we're going to go with. Okay, so let's go to the garage and make this in the real world. I start by measuring out the area I need to cut. This is going to be slightly smaller than the actual door. This way our design won't get stuck on the door jams. I then clamp down the boards, that way they don't shift while I'm cutting them. I give the hardboard a quick sanding so I can apply paint later. My initial thought was to use that roll of paper and make a template that I could then lay down and just trace the shapes out and then make my cuts. I ended up using my drywall T-squares width, which was two inches, to make the border and most of the other spacing. In the end, I used both methods. The T-square gave me the nice straight lines and the paper gave me the visual reference. I then used a circle template, which helped with the rounded corners. After that, it was time to start construction. Beer. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I, 
I got a little carried away there. I mean, that's how montages are, right? I mean, there's explosions, rock and roll, music, and beer. Well, maybe, maybe not the beer. In all seriousness, see all that dust floating in the air and all on the floor from this? Yeah, that's, that's bad news. Make sure you wear a dust mask when you're cutting MDF. Now you know, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe is a trademark of the Hasbro Corporation. circle template just didn't have a circle large enough for this. And maybe I misplaced it. Got scraps laying around, sand them up square, and you've got some extra detail. So here I used every clamp that I own, which isn't that many. So it's gonna be a long night. On second thought, the nail gun to the rescue. While I tried to do zero damage to the door, well, I ended up making three of these little pockets. Looking back at this, I could have attached to the top of the door and then moved the door jam forward a little bit. Now the messiest part of the build, painting. But with that said, 
I must admit, once you paint it all, it all comes together beautifully. Once again, I used some black acrylic and then chased after it with a paper towel to wipe it while it was wet. Then finally, the silver Sharpie. And voila, this build is done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this door build and hopefully that's inspired you to build one of your own. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.